uh, Andy, I guess Marshall, 22 points, 5 of 11 from three-point That's pretty impressive, range. Hugh. That's why he's how here. Long, how long can you maintain that? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Marshall being impressive. I'm talking about you with the oh, yeah. balance. Um, yeah, I mean, that's why we brought him here. Obviously, we were deficient from shooting last year. We needed to remedy that, and he's a good remedy. I thought he lost his concentration. You know, these games are, are not – uh, is easy to stay in rhythm, and I thought when, when I took him out and put him back in a second half, he, he wasn't in any rhythm. But when we needed to make a little spurt, we needed to get some separation, I, I thought he was very effective. Coming off the uh, exhibition win to this game, how do, how do you feel your team respond? How do you think it you know, came together? You know, I thought we made some improvements. We continue to guard, you know, in the exhibition game, we held them under, 20, under 30%. Tonight, we held them to 32, and they got a lot of those. I think they had a stretch where they made four out of five. Other than that, I was pleased. I thought we did a better job on the glass. We're turning people over, which is allowing us to score. When you can score 93 points and shoot under 40% from the floor, it shows that you're active. I mean, we took 78 shots. We were very active, which is, uh, which is what I like, you know. Um, Derek Millinghouse had a had a, a debut that was anticipatory on my part because I knew him not having been in a game before he was going to be going so fast. Newby goes so fast, you know. Anthony's going so fast. Brutus goes so fast. But that's just part of it, you know. That's why, that's why uh, you have 30 games and you hope to improve each night. Been a lot of talk about Marshall, obviously, but talk a little bit more about those other three guys in the backcourt, Millinghouse and and uh, Perez and and Newby. What role can they play on this team? I think Anthony can help us in a variety of ways. You know, we're playing him some. Uh, AJ got the elbow to the head, and we don't, we didn't want to take any chances of putting him back. He was having a little headache issue, and so we play Anthony some at the four, and he doesn't practice a lot at the four. But because of his size, he's able to rebound some force. It's a, he's got some toughness at the basket. He can stretch the floor and make a shot. Uh, he's a versatile, talented player. He's just got to get stronger and get more comfortable in his role. Derek, I think you saw, you know, he, he's just going so fast, but his ball speed collapses defenses and um, allows us to, to be able to make some plays in the open floor. He'll settle in and really be able to help us. What did you think of 25 of 39 from the line, 7 of 12 from the two big guys? Yeah, I was pleased. I was pleased to see, you know, Reg to go four for six. I thought his rhythm was good. Uh, you know, Murph's around 50%. It's got to be a little better. But in 23 minutes for, for Murph to come out and get a double-double, I think is a, is a good start to his senior campaign. Yeah, just talk a little bit more about Murph and just his ability to crash down low. Well, you know, he's, he's God willing, and he stays injury free. He's going to leave here the all time leading rebounder in the history of our program. He's one of the all time leaders in uh, double doubles in, in the SEC going into this year. Uh, he's our energy, he's our swag. Uh, he's a guy that, that brings it every night, and I was pleased to see him do so tonight. I thought he and Reg, his approach defensively early was awesome, and, and when, they're, when they're good and they're in locked in, it makes it very difficult for the other team to be able to score in close. Um, and then once we settled in, I never thought we really got into an offensive rhythm. That sounds strange, scoring 93 points, but I never thought we got in any rhythm offensively. I thought we were way rushed. Um, we, we, we looked like we had a 10-second shot clock as opposed to the 35, and a lot of that's just youth and inexperience and trying to play a lot of new guys. Millinghouse played a lot in more than summers. How much do you plan to actually use him the rest of the season? Yeah, I'm going to use him a lot. I think he's a, I think he's a guy that brings us a speed dimension, and, and it just so happened that his first game that he was uh, able to play with us, you know, Jarvis got into early foul trouble. He picked up the two quick ones, and he got his third, and he got his fourth early in the, in the second half. Typically, you know, that would not bode well for us because we'd have to move Snoop over, or I'd even talked about Anthony. But with Derek, you know, it lets those guys play in their natural positions, which I think is uh, advantageous for this group. Another night of playing a lot of guys. When would you like – I know the early games you want to get to see as much as you can from these guys, but when would you like to settle in on your rotation? Well, you know, I look at – we've got we've got seven returners. You know, DeMarco, I hope, is back with us. I don't know if he'll play Tuesday, but my hope is that he's cleared for basketball contact and, and he's available. Um, with, with him back, you know, I've got a, a reasonable feel for those seven guys. Obviously, you want to see – DeMarco and AJ take the next step. You know what you have in Nick, Reg, and Murph. You feel pretty comfortable with Jarvis. You know, Snoop's shown you signs. He needs to continue to improve. But I'm really trying to, you know, figure out where we can use these new guys. You know, Marshall obviously has kind of cemented a role in what he can bring to our team. I think Anthony's versatility. And then you got a guy like Martavius Newby. Did you look at his stat line? I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. I, he, he plays 15 minutes and gets up 12 shots. Uh, 11 re he gets 11 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 turnovers and a block, took 12 shots in 15 minutes. That's a pretty active play. He's very active. You know, I've, I always said he was like Murphy, but at 6'3", and it's true, he's always around the ball. 
You know, he's post-feeding to the cheerleaders. I thought he was throwing one over there to you. You know, he's throwing the ball all over the gym. But his energy is infectious. I think defensively he wreaks havoc. Um, and we just got to get him to settle in, and he's going to be a big weapon for us. Obviously the crowd feeds off Henderson, or they fed off of him tonight. Do, do the, does the rest of the team feed off no of him question. in the same way? No question. And, and you guys will get to know Marshall a little bit. He, he's an energetic cat now. I mean, he, he, he brings it. Uh, every day in practice, you don't have to worry about his motor. You've got to worry about his focus sometimes, but you don't have to worry about his motor. You don't have to worry about him being in it uh, or chirpy. He's chirpy, too. You know, he likes to, he likes to talk. Uh, and, and with that, he, he motivates himself. Guys know the weapon that he brings, you know. They know that, that you have to know where he is, which opens things up for everyone, and uh, he's a valuable weapon for us. 22 points in 23 minutes in his debut is not a bad way to start. Just uh, with the exhibition and then tonight, how do you feel the freshmen and the new guys are, are handling all, you know? The they're freshmen stuff? and they're, they're making a million mistakes, but I think their, their effort has been outstanding. They're great guys. We got, a, we got a group full of good guys and they're working hard and it's easy to say together, it's easy to say team. That will be proven over time, the test of time when we hit a little adversity, but I like the way this team's approached the season to this point. Most important question, how excited is Will Norman to get some points? How about that? I was awesome. It was awesome. I, yeah, I, I was glad that those guys, you know, Will Norman and, and Cade, they don't get in much, but those guys, you know, are valuable to us every day in practice, so I was glad to see Norm get rewarded. Thank you. Thank you.